Okay, uh, welcome to this episode of uh, Forgotten Recipes. Uh, in the time when uh, fish nets were made of uh, hemp, flax, and uh, later on in cotton, they needed to be treated against rotting. Now, on the ropes or the ships here, you would use uh, plain tar for the purpose, but uh, it would have made the nets uh, unnecessarily stiff. So another kind of uh, method was used, and uh, that's kind of a tanning solution that was used for, for treating nets. Uh, works also for, for ropes, cordage, twines, and even a similar method was used to, to preserve or to protect uh, sail canvas. Now you may have seen uh, ships with uh, red sails and the red color comes from the tanning solution. Uh, I've known this all my life but I haven't been able to find a recipe how the tanning solution was made until very recently. So I, I found a booklet from 1944 and there was a quite in detail explained how the tanning solution is made, what kind of ingredients it, it has, and uh, how to treat your canvas or, or your cordage with the solution. So I haven't done this before, so this is my first experiment, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And also the tanning solution it gives a nice color, so I thought about try tanning some uh, some canvas and uh, make for uh, some ditty bags if we get success. But uh, let's take a look at the ingredients to start with. Now, uh, first of all, we need some material that includes tannins. In this case I'll be using uh, some birch bark and it's only the inner bark that you need for the solution, not the white one. But you don't have to take it away. Uh, that includes tannin. Uh, you could use uh, any kind of material that, uh, for the purpose, uh, oak of course, or uh, willow bark spruce bark and they uh, all have different uh, amount of tannins in them and they give also different colors so you need to experiment with your different materials one thing that uh, has uh, very much tannins is uh, spruce coats and I'll be adding those also to the solution And you don't need to be afraid that there will be too much tannins. It's not a similar process as, as tanning leather. So you can add as much as you like. The color gets only deeper and deeper. And in order to loosen the tannins from your material, I'll be adding uh, some lye to the, to the solution also. Now this is drain opener, so this is pure lye, and you could use uh, wood ash, for example, <coughs> for the same purpose. And uh, these are cooked a couple of hours so that the tannins will dissolve in wa water, and then uh, you'll put your canvas or, uh, or rope or whatever in the solution. And afterwards, uh, you need to attach the tannins and the color to the fibers. And for that purpose, we use a solution with uh, copper sulfate. And also the copper, it uh, protects the fibers against rot. So that's something you wouldn't use uh, in leather, but uh, for the fiber, you use copper sulfate and also some ammonia. 
Oh, this is nasty stuff. You don't want to inhale that. And also, why is very dangerous. So always use protection. Gloves and, and eye protection when using these kind of things. And in some cases, uh, you will add even some tar in the solution. And this is a good uh, kiln distilled pure tar that will be diluted in the in the water. I'll show you later on how you do it. Now you don't necessarily need a tar, but if you like, I don't know how much tar one should use. The only thing I saw in the in the booklet was uh, about one and a half to two kilos of tar to one fish net. How much that is? I have to experiment with that. And I'll maybe add some even some tar in the solution later on. But uh, let's get cooking. Okay, then we have few liters of water and we add our bark and coats in there. And then we let it cook for a couple of hours and come back to see how it looks like. <coughs> oh, <coughs> Almost forgot the lie. been a couple of hours now and uh, look how nice color uh, I forgot to mention that according to instructions you would and also some salt it doesn't say exactly how much but It should help to, to keep the uh, the color in the in yarns or or in fibers. And then we'll take the bark and uh, point codes away from the solution. wet linen and I just put it in there it could have been more I guess but that will have to do next time I'll be cooking three times more Okay, now I let the canvas sit there uh, for an hour or so and uh, moving it around every now and then so that it soaks evenly. Ah, it's still hot, as it should be. Okay, it's been an hour and... And the linen has got very nice deep brown color. I take it away and... Put the cotton in. 
and you need to heat up again the solution to keep it warm. That's a beautiful red color. So it's time for next solution. And this will be our final mix for the canvas. For about 5 liters of water, and we'll take some surfet. that in hot water and some wood. You don't want to inhale that. As you see the solution becomes blue. And then we take our canvas and put in the solution. And let it sit there for maybe three hours and moving around at the same time so we we'll see how it goes okay then we'll do a target take some of the and add the copper to And mix. So the co copper surface will uh, break the tar into the water. And if it doesn't break, you add more, more of the copper surface into the solution. And a bit more, I think. Okay, then we take our ropes and now this should be wet, but I'll make an effort just like this. Add some flax and here's some hemp. And some flex small stuff okay and after soaking in the mix for an hour or so just take the cordage out and we'll see what happens
and then hang out to dry. Okay, here are the results of my little experiment. Uh, I'm quite happy with the outcome. I already made a couple of ditty bags on the canvas I had hand. A few mistakes that I made, uh, or I should I be more careful, was to first wash the canvas. I didn't do it, it was a fresh canvas, and it didn't take color too well. I should have washed it with, with some uh, alkaline washing, washing powder or something. Uh, so I ended up uh, making the tanning process twice to get the deeper color. And I noted that the uh, linen is even harder to, to get the red color in it. So it became uh, quite a uh, brownish, though beautiful color. And uh, a more red color in the cotton. So that I'm quite happy with. Made it a little dizzy back that I already sold it. Uh, also the cordage that I uh, tanned with tar became very beautiful. It didn't become at all hard. It's quite soft and has a little bit of tar smell uh, and also kind of woody uh, smell from the from the tanning solution. And also I noticed that I should have had a larger vessel in the for for the process since the coloring becomes quite not not even when I had to pack it in the in the bucket or otherwise I think I'll continue with this beautiful thing. So that's it. Thank you.